the rush of darkness is unstoppable. Time itself twists and tears, sweeping the champion of light back with its dark currents. Again, he enters the world, but now he sees the trap for what it is, a maze that loops back into itself. I'm, I'm here again. He sent me back. In Bright Falls, I was constantly under attack by birds that were more shadow than flesh and feathers. But this is an evolution. Some of the Taken were actually capable of turning into a flock of birds to escape my attacks and turning back into human form to make surprise attacks. I'm trapped in the darkness. He has started appearing to me. Mr. Sk he can travel back into the world effortlessly, and he loves to rub my face in it. At first, he was just an echo in the darkness, a flicker beyond the edge of my vision. Now he started showing himself, getting bolder all the time, telling me what a great time he's having in the world while I'm stuck here, and what he plans to do, especially to Alice. All the moves I have left are dangerous and desperate. I have no choice. I have to hunt him. I don't make friends easily. I know plenty of people, 
but I don't let most of them close. I've known Barry Wheeler ever since we were little boys. We had the time of our lives. I'd get us in trouble, and he'd talk us out of it. Things haven't changed that much now that we're grown-ups. He's the most loyal and dependable person I've ever met, and all the things that count anyway. You could call him a weasel, and you wouldn't be entirely wrong. You could call him a clown, and I would reluctantly agree. But he has never let me down. With all the herbs, crystals, and the rest of her New Age paraphernalia, Emma Sloan had been called a hippie and a freak and worse. It was that small-town mentality. She was a female mechanic, and even in 2011, there were always going to be backward shit-kickers who thought that was a hoot. She didn't mind. She could deal. She could take any engine apart, even the new ones with all the computers in them. Turned out that these boys were awful polite while waiting for her to put them back together. Okay, people, it's Eddie Rodman here with a few hours to kill, and there's nobody I'd rather spend them with. Nobody else in the whole world. <laughs> oh, boy, that'll land me in hot water when I get back home, won't it? Well, just in case my wife is listening, and you always are, aren't you, baby? Let me tell you, you are the exception, honey, and the prettiest lady I ever saw in a boot. But I'd really like to spend some quality time with you listeners, because, well, tonight's one of those nights. You're sitting in the studio and you kind of forget how long it's been or what day it is. You just sit here and go through the motions. You might as well have been here forever. You keep talking, but you don't even know what you're saying. It's like you're on automatic. You can't stop the ride and get off. It's times like these that I really wish that somebody had just called in and relieved my boredom. How about it? Anybody? Come on now, help a fella out. Our lines are open. Emma? You here? Wow, it is you. I, I guess all of it really happened. You remember me? Kind of. I felt weird all day, like I could almost remember a dream I had. And then, just before sunset, I remembered the page. Yeah. I'm going to have to go get those things again. Not all of them. I, I went out and got them. Well, most of them. I felt stupid at first, but then it was getting dark, and those, those things started showing up, and one of them made off with the battery. It ran into the railroad tunnel. There was no way I was going to follow him in there. Sorry. It's good you didn't. You should be careful. I mean, really careful. Yeah, I, I kind of remember something. Something bad happened to me, didn't it? Forget it. It doesn't have to happen again, okay? Just do what I say. Yeah, okay. God, this is too weird. Am I going crazy here? 
Just go get that battery. Try to stay calm. You're perfectly sane. We're caught in a time loop. That's why this is happening again. I... I believe you. God, I feel like I might just lose it any second now. How come you're not freaking out over this? Because on my personal weird shit meter this just doesn't rate. Look, I know something happened to me before... You're gonna be okay, if you just keep cool, okay? Thanks for getting this stuff for me, it's a big help. I hope so. Are you gonna make everything blow up at the oil field again? I have to. Well, whatever the hell else you might be, at least you're not boring. Just the battery. That'll save time. Night Springs doesn't exist. It's a fictional town from the TV show I used to work on. It was Any Place USA, a place we used as a backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man, the champion of light, fighting his evil double, the Herald of Darkness. It was something I'd written back in the real world, something I had a link to, a framework I could build on. I had adapted it into a new story, this story. Okay, so this chick just came up to me and said she's my biggest fan. I know, they all say that, right? And she's giving me the eye. So I make a couple of moves, we have a couple of drinks, and then things start happening. But I say I have to go to the bathroom first. Uh-oh, right? She's got no idea. Watch this. This is gonna be priceless. Now Night Springs is in Arizona, although not for long. It's in Arizona because whatever the town that has become Night Springs is really called is located near one of the thin, worn places in the world where dreams and reality flow together and life is always a little strange. Perfect analogy for Night Springs. I can't return to the real world, I've tried, but I'm operating on dream logic, forcing the door open a crack so I can slip through. I can enter the strange little town of Night Springs. All I did was put it in Arizona for one night. <laughs> 